So it's pretty amazing that we actually don't realize how much hazardous waste we have in our house because these are just everyday items. It could be things like cleaners or even pesticides we're using within the house. It could be paint cans. I don't know about you, but they seem to multiply in people's basements and garages. We have, you know, the 5, 10, 15 cans of paint that are half full, quarter full. Uh, it's batteries. It could be things, you know, we're heading into the warmer season for barbecuing, propane tanks, whether they're the big ones or even those small ones. These are all going to be considered hazardous waste. And actually one that I always want to mention, because I think people forget about it, is medication. So if you've got old or expired medication or stuff that you're just not using anymore, that's considered a hazardous waste as well. Okay, now there's different, I think there's different rules for the different things that you've just mentioned. So let's start with those uh, uh, multiplying paint cans in the garage. They don't necessarily just go out with the garbage, right? They're supposed to be taken somewhere or something special done to them? Correct. So they are a part of Halton Region's Household Hazardous Waste Program. So we do need to, to pack them up in your vehicle and bring them to a specialized location. So a great place you could come to is the Halton Waste Management site. So we are located at 5400 Regional Road 25 in Milton. So we have a free Household Hazardous Waste Depot there. Uh, just because we are talking about paint cans, if any of those paints are actually, you know, half full or quarter full and they're still good paint, we actually also have a paint and stain reuse shed where you could donate that paint. And as the summer months are kind of coming through, if you are visiting the waste management site, you can actually grab some of those paint cans for free as well, which is really great. All right, now let's move along to to batteries, um, because I think we might use less of them now, but we all have got remotes. We've all got smoke detectors. A lot of them still use batteries. Uh, I know that, you know, you can probably Ikea has some recycling programs, um, but as far as the Halton region goes, are there specific spots and what do we do? Yeah. So, of course, again, you can bring it to the Halton Waste Management site. Batteries are a part of that hazardous waste program. But we actually also have about 40 locations around Halton region where there are battery bins. Typically, you're going to find them at our public libraries or community centers. A great place to go is visit our website, so halton.ca slash waste. And we actually have a list of all those locations and where you can dispose of batteries for free. So before we get to, I know, a few special days that are coming up, I did want to tackle uh, everyone has, well, probably tons of old cell phones. There might be a VIC-20 or a Commodore 64 hanging around. The TV that is a box that weighs 250 pounds, uh, what do I do with, oh, and that box of cables from 1992 that has just steadily grown. What do I do with my electronics? Excellent. So that's the other thing that seems to multiply in our basements and in our garages as our electronics. So like you mentioned, our TVs are any sort of peripheral cables from computers and, you know, desktop laptops and things like that. It is all considered an electronic. So again, you can come visit us friendly folks at the waste management site where we have a free electronics drop off location. But also just to plug an event we have coming up we have something called the special waste drop-off day. So we try and make disposal a little bit easier for our residents. So we go out into our municipalities in Halton. So our very first event is gonna be on June 3rd out in Burlington at the closed landfill. So that's at 367 North Service Road where you can actually dispose of your electronics and your household hazardous waste for free. It's a really beautiful, easy, convenient drop-off um, event. That's really amazing.